All right, what's going on, guys? It is war game time. Don't know where that intro came from, but it is indeed war game time, unironically. So, in the last episode, we um, we're dealing uh, we're dealing with some chaotic times, and I know I misspelled the title and the thumbnail, uh, but I feel like at this point it's part of history, so I'm not going to change it. With that being said. I was thinking about retreating my forces to Beichan to replenish them, but I'm pretty sure the enemies will just chase me into Beichan and I will lose sort of the buffer that I have going on right now. Also, over here, obviously my goal is to try and grab these two territories before turn 10, and it is turn 3 right now. However, there is going to be a flanking run coming from this almost 900 unit large tank regiment coming from the flank. So, I'm not really 100% sure how we're going to do this. I think what we are going to do is we're going to push everything and everyone from Namaria into Mount Moran. And then, the turn after, we're going to run them all back, or the majority of them back, into uh, Namaria to try and fend off their attack. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set everyone in to uh, get ready to attack Mount Moran. Just like that. We just spotted some new enemy units. So let's take a look at those real quick. We spotted an uh, anti-air company, a couple of helicopters, and we now can see what is in the River Jordan area. So we have a lot of infantry here with BMPs and BTRs. Relatively nothing really super important here. We have the Airborne Regiment, which is kind of scary. They do have a ton of shock infantry, elite infantry, and a lot of regulars backed up by a couple of tanks. Nothing... No, those aren't really scary at all. And uh, obviously an anti-tank company, which has a ton of ATGMs, which is going to be relatively scary. However... We are also going to have to deal with this 11th tank regiment, which is bringing a ton of tanks. Now these T-55s I'm not really worried about, but the T-62s, and they have 68 of them, and the 60 T-72Ms are relatively an issue, especially if you compare the fact that I just have four Merkavas left. So, in today's battle, and this is probably the most boring one, but I'm going to start with it. And if it's a really boring battle, I'll skip the battle and show you the results. My idea here is that I'm going to try and push as aggressively as possible. They only have six tanks, including, well, excluding the five recon tanks. They have 11 tanks over here and nothing really else. A couple of recon units and then literally it is just artillery and artillery and artillery. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to grab, <coughs> sorry, we're actually going to grab this helicopter unit to fly over to Tiberius and we're going to get air support in the form of the Skyhawks and uh, shitty, they're just all shitty planes but shitty planes are going to win the battle cheap shitty planes that resupply fast because there is not any AA left in this sector and uh, that's basically going to hopefully allow us to destroy them and sort of create a buffer zone if possible I would love to grab this armored regiment back and resupply them before the next wave comes in. But we have to see if that is possible unit-wise. And I mean, we could potentially pull these guys back and we'll still have some infantry to hold the line. We'll have some shitty infantry. We'll have some... Uh, it'll just be... We'll mostly have to... You know what we're going to do? We're going to pull these guys back. We'll refit them next turn and then send them to Tiberius. But right now we're going to have to hold the line. Uh, we're going to send out the fighter squadron this way, and then we're going to split up these planes between there. Let's take a quick look at the difference between here, 6,000 points, and uh, in Nazareth, 6,000 versus 22, and here it's 10 versus 30. So we'll actually send these uh, these ones over, I think it's, they have planes over here still, so let's actually send them over there. So the idea is literally that we're just going to try and hold the lines. We're going to go to Beerus. Like I said, if it's really, really boring, we'll definitely get back to you after uh, this. But for now, uh, we're going to try and push them out of this sector. Destroy as much of their points as possible. And if it's really boring, we'll come back to you with the results screen. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set up a lot of ATGMs right here on the road. 
Um, and we're basically going to be covering over here. We'll have a few AT gyms cover this sector as well as a tow sitting here, <coughs> pardon me, in the tree line. We're going to use our recon helicopters. I got two CVs down just for security in case they see one. And uh, actually, let's put this one over there just for now. And uh, we're going to try and find their uh, formations of vehicles and bomb them into obliteration. All right. Set up the recon. We got two Havets covering. Now we're just going to try and find... Oh, you know what? I never got the other helicopter, I think. Did I? I only see one. Go to the helicopter to the recon on the right side. And uh, we're just going to try and bomb them into oblivion. And uh, hopefully it allows us to push them back in the sector. I do have a single net, so I don't have any... Uh, I guess I should get some bases. So we're going to get some bases and use them to counter any air that we will encounter. Uh, so what are these? These are tanks. Like actual tanks. The couple of their real tanks they still have left and then we have some uh, limited BTRs that they got uh, there's really not a lot of BTRs their BTRs are uh, are carrying I think the recon infantry no oh, that's not bad now uh, we could also get some helicopters out here which I might do try to move away from these T-72s they are very damaged but I don't want them to uh, just outright kill me with their machine guns. Hopefully that does enough damage. I think it's carrying 500 kilogram bombs. So this could do a lot of damage, which it did. That's awesome. Oh, we did lose. Come here, you bastard. Get a aid. Uh, it's not, it's gonna get away. I don't know where my, um, I don't remember where my, uh, AA went. I had rocket AA, I'm pretty sure, but it just disappeared. Let's bomb this. So I did lose one of my MiGs, that's fine. We'll, keep a, we'll have to keep a Baz up in the air if we're doing any sort of air runs now. Alright, there's actually a CV in there too. But let's bomb these supply trucks. Hopefully we'll take out the T-72s with them, which we won't. But at least we have eyes on them now. So whenever the Nets becomes available, uh, we'll have him run and uh, take out those two tanks actually you know what we'll just <clears throat> get ourselves a nets available no I have to do my voice holy shit someone got stuck in their throat there so that's fixed uh, now I just have to uh, slow I think we saw we took out the majority of their air via of their ground tanks that were left uh, looking for any sort of uh, large cluster of artillery that was relatively on target. We did take out the CV and the two tanks, but there's still more targets spotted over there. Over here, that's what we're talking about, right there. So we'll get another MiG, because they're really cheap, and they're sort of... Well, I wouldn't say I want to waste them, but they're... I don't want... I'm not going to cry if I do end up losing them. We'll hit that T-55, because is it a recon... Or it is a, a CV tank. Oh, did I need eyes on to bomb? This, this Baz has been holding out. It's only halfway in this fuel right now. That's actually really cool. So we're going to hit that. And we're going to try and get our eyes on... There. Marked. I just uh, hit them with uh, target ground. There goes the T-55. It actually goes their CV over here. So we can now probably get one of these uh, Tsevas to use their... Is this, oh, let's change altitude to be higher. We'll use the chain gun to try and kill lighter targets. It would be awesome if we can push them off the map, if only just for one turn, and then allow us to have, uh, obviously, a larger area. Because now... <coughs> pardon me. Right now, if they do come back <coughs> and attack me on this map... <coughs> wow, sorry. They will have to... They'll only have one sector. Right now, obviously, they have two sectors available to them to spawn from. Um... If they only can come from one sector, it'll be easier to pinpoint uh, and easier to target their units. So hopefully we can just keep kind of bombing. These are really expensive units too. We can just kind of keep bombing these expensive units. There's a lot of stuff coming out right now. T-55s would be nice to bomb for points. Um, that's about a 500 point bomb right there. Basically, god damn. Alright, let's see... 
Let's have my uh, Siphon move over here. I believe the Nets had a target over here in a form of some tanks. Let's watch out for these. Oh, Meteor's actually never mind. We have a 20 mil on this. I forgot. Oh, there's some T-72s over here now. Okay. Hit this with the chain gun. It should do damage. AT gems will take it out, though. That's fair. Uh, we'll actually lose a vehicle there or two, but that's to be expected. Trying to keep track. We did take out the enemy tanks. We'll take out these uh, trucks. We found ourselves a CV. It's just a topaz, but, you know, it's still a CV, so we'll take that out. Another Seva. Seveza. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. My apologies if I mispronounce these names. <clears throat> and we'll try and hit this uh, this little supply convoy with the 20 mils and look for some targets here. Hopefully this net does some... Nope, that's nowhere near. We need to get these... Ooh, that was... It hit them. It didn't... It stunned them. That's about it, though. But we can... Oh! Oh, it's gonna hit... Move the hobbit. Move, 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 move. This truck's gonna die. That's one kill on the on the bombing run. If we can get the other one, we did lose the truck there. That's okay. Close enough, in my opinion. Uh, let's take out. Oh, let's not take this out. Let's watch out because oh, never mind. It doesn't have a gun on it, so we can just use this to take that out. Uh, we'll get the Teveza that still has rockets. We we'll probably need more of these Tevezas because they're good, and their uh, rockets obviously allow us to take out heavier vehicles. As we get a Baz. Whenever we have the points available here to try and take out the uh, remaining air support that may or may not show up. Uh, so we have this secured. I was really hoping to try and finish off some more of their stuff. This might not kill their tank. Is it retreating for me? Okay, I think we have to get around to flank and then we can probably hit it with the 20 mil, can we? Or have, do you have to get close enough? It doesn't have a machine gun, so it doesn't really matter. You can just get right on top of it if you wanted to. Okay, this should work now. Fantastic. All right, good. Now we're going to use the Visa to hit these. Uh, these guys are shock infantry, so I don't want to risk losing my helicopter for no reason. So we found their CV. Now, preferably, I would take out some more of their... Uh, of their vehicles here and do more damage. I definitely want to try and take out these infantry if we can. Try and get them closer. There is... that must be the uh, rocket artillery we just spotted earlier. It's gonna be opening fire with the chain gun and then here with the rockets we have both... what is it? 40 or 70 mils with two different sets of 70 mils. Oh, but they just surrendered. They're retreating! They lost our tank regiment! That's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Mainly that they lost their tank regiment, and um, it means that we'll have actually sort of won the battle here for now. They're going to be pushing in with this 11th tank regiment. Hopefully, we can at least get my Merkava to uh, Merkava unit to go back to 16 or 12, whatever the number was. They do have a support unit coming in here with 12 more heavy anti-air, another 12 heavy anti-air, and some uh, Strazala. So this could be interesting. Uh, these guys do also have some Strazala. So there's going to be a lot of anti-air showing up here. So it's going to be interesting. Hopefully we can supply these guys. Then, in Nazareth, we still... Okay, so we capture back the Bravo sector. They do have a lot of infantry left. I believe we actually might have used or lost one of our Shaitet units. They got shot down in the... Uh, in the helicopter as they were about to land. I think I got shut down by like a BMP. They are out of tanks. They are have a lot of recon left. They have a lot of infantry left. Uh, helicopters, only one anti-aircraft unit. So we'll launch this battle. Uh, we'll set up our, uh, our units and we'll be right back. Right, so I set up uh, a small defense here on the left, not really focusing on this current situation. Nothing over here. We got our standard sort of tank defense with a Merkava and some AMX to set up over here. And in the middle, this time I put my FOB here, and I also called in two planes ready to go. I think this is going to be a pretty decent setup. It'd be nice to get a recon. Actually, you know what? Let's get a, uh, I kind of want to get four sets of recon, not just one. So I want to get like four units of recon to put in here. Uh, but I think we're... Actually pretty good. I'm not really sure why there's no infantry in there. I definitely thought I put some infantry in there, but for some reason they all just disappeared. Um, 
we will skimp out on these AA guys, and we're just going to put uh, recon lads in this area here for now. Not really too sure. We didn't have a lot of points to go on. I want to try and keep his CVs. I actually want to get a CV in here when we get started, but uh, let's go and see how this one works out. That's a lot of helicopters. Now I really regret not having any AA set up on this side. Like that's... Oh my god, is this a heli rush? What the fuck? The AI just got smart? I'm actually genuinely scared. Well, we hit that, but there's a lot of it. There's a lot of helicopters over here, my lord. This thing does not have a stabilizer. Hold fire, or hold the move. Engage. Oh man. Oh man. What happened? The AI just got, they got brain cells. In. I didn't- I can't stop them! I'm unsure what just happened, he's got so many MI-24s! Hit them with rockets while they're low! Nope. Nothing. My god. Alright, well, um... That's kind of scary, there's artillery coming in on my shot calls over there. Hold, hold, hold. I need a helicopter to try and deal with this BMP. My infantry here is getting overrun and there's nothing I can do. And these AT gems are just coming out of my shot calls. There's nothing I can do about them either. But taking on these uh, MI-24s now, finally at least with our uh, AA, they just came in and were like, what's going on boys? They just messed me up. Luckily my hobbits are closing in on this BMP. We did destroy it. That goes down. We are going to need a lot more uh, to try and deal with these hots, because that's ridiculous. Uh, let's get two more hobbits. This is good for us, because it allows us to take out their um, their helicopters this battle and do a lot of point damage. But the issue is that they just destroyed the little bit of infantry that I had left in this sector. I have my uh, Shayatet units left. That's pretty much the only good unit that I got left to go on right now. And uh, yeah, they just destroyed this last sort of militia elite squad that I did have that was actually pretty good. Uh, we're gonna need these uh, hobbits to come over here and destroy anything we sort of can get access to as we are in a world of hurt. This is brutal. Let's get another recon tank over here to try and save the world. So we move this one back here. And obviously we're trying to get eyes on these hots, but they're just moving off very fast. We do might maybe have, hmm. My milium here are doing all right. They only lost only lost half their unit in that uh, in that little battle. Um, nets being hit or no nets needs to go out and hit those targets if they can. So we push up my hobbits. What's the range of these hobbits? 26, 26. So it's the exact same range on them versus us. Let's get. Oh, there's actually Shanabs over here. I didn't realize I had them, but they're kind of expensive and they only have a couple of missiles. So actually, let's not get a Shanab. Let's get Dra Dracons, which have longer range and uh, longer range actually than their AG ATGMs do. So that might be a good sort of push. So we push my Hobbits also in here and try and get eyes on wherever those guys went. Infantry being engaged by my DMR. There is, however, uh, light vehicles approaching now. And we're going to need to figure out a way to... I, sh I really shouldn't have deleted. I really shouldn't have deleted that uh, AA unit. Damn. Alright, the Hobbit is destroying whatever sort of air support they do have left over here. Hobbit's dealing with these hots. Hot Hobbits. Come on, where you at? Engage. Target down. That's such a satisfying sound. I love that. And last but not least, targets destroyed. Uh, I said 
Targets destroyed, please. Thank you. That's fantastic news. Need to use my uh, save us now to- Oh shit, he just took out one of my hobbits. That sucks. To get a CV in here, uh, you know what? Maybe we just need to get some. Well, I don't want to like necessarily put my Merkavas in here because I'm not really sure what kind of support they have. There's a rocket launching coming, so we'll hit that. Took out another anti-air unit or a helicopter unit. Sorry. Save uh, taken down. Uh, Bedouin still spawning. They're actually hitting this with. They're they're hitting this with a DMR. I'm not sure how effective that is, but allegedly if they're doing it, it might there might be a reason for it. So. My Milium are kind of in trouble here in the city. Actually, it would be nice to resupply them. So, I did lose my fob, which sucks. Uh, we'll get these Milium to sit in the city here for now. And um, Oh, this actually has out of ammo. My god. It's been just going absolute ham. Let's get another Cerveza over here. I, I keep mispronouncing it, I'm sure. I'm really sorry if you are offended by my pronunciation of these names. But they're not easy names to pronounce. Alright, it's gonna go back. We're gonna try and, these guys can get, get up back up to 40, which I think is definitely worth trying to get them back up to that. Uh, and then we'll also get a Yasur to land over here and try and resupply them up back up to 10. Uh, yep, uh, it'll be worth it. And um, it'll definitely help us hold that area. We'll actually push them back into this factory building. Hit that BTR. Please. Get a Merkava CV in there. You're not gonna hit that with the... Is it out of range? It's out of range. Now it's in range, there we go, sweet. Okay, oh man, that was a start to this battle. I didn't really envision. That was a lot of helicopters. Like, a lot, a lot of helicopters. Take out this BMP, please. Uh, don't hit me. That's gonna miss. Oof! That's awesome. That's a great hit. Okay. It's Milium. Actually, I might want to move to Yasur just for a second before it gets sniped. Turn off this thing. Land this one. Keep the fuel turned off for now. Ah, rocket runs. That shouldn't hurt that bad, but it's still going to be annoying. Well, we took down their initial wave of just insane amount of stuff. But I'm actually really glad that we did that, because that was just ridiculous. The helicopter spam did not work in their favor. Uh, we basically just destroyed everything they had over here uh, with a very little loss of, uh, of our own. We're now resupplying these infantry and these units. Helicopter should be back up, ready to roll. And we'll hit this area with the Nesher. What's this? Infantry moving? I can't I couldn't see in time. We do have a lot of units available to us right now, but we're just gonna actually these Skyhawks might be good at just taking down helicopters because they are really cheap and they have shitty missiles. Uh so I'm hoping actually these Skyhawks or Shah sorry, Shahawks. I don't know why I said Skyhawk. Shahawks do their job. If they don't, then we'll figure something else. That's gonna net our siphon. Well, he did kill one of them. That's good. He actually gunned one of them and then hit him with the missile. And let's engage everything that's over here. Took uh, control of Bravo with my CV. These Shahawks together killed those uh, units. That's a lot of infantry over here. That's actually a prime target for the Nesher with the uh, rocket strike. We might have to get another one just to get rid of these infantry. There's actually way too many of them over here. Is this gonna hit? Nice step. Nice. There we go. That did a lot of damage. They're down at least. They're down at least one squad. Kind of want to stop them before they get too far into that sector, though, and they can cause issues. Let's hit this with the nets. Milium here are safe. Uh, Yasur, might as well get him out of there for right now. There's no point in having a very low health or very low uh, low units. Yasur, or low supply. Sorry, English is very hard. Get this BMP, stop them from uh, destroying or hitting my Turan. 
Target down. Easy peasy. And round complete. There we go. Infantry left. It's going to get destroyed. Oh, that they... Okay, total victory. Um, we actually killed our last CV somehow. Did we actually kill our last CV? I believe it. Um, oh, look at that. Nazareth has also been cleared. So there isn't much left. I would love to get these guys out. And <sighs> you know what I might do? This might not be the best idea, but I really feel like I should just retreat to Beit Xi'an. Um, I really want to retreat to Beit Xi'an and refit everybody next turn. It's not going to work out the exact way I maybe want it, but we. De I'm glad these guys will at least be able to refit, hopefully. Um... Preferably, I can get everyone back here, refit them, and then either fight in the surrounding sectors or fight in Bay Chan, but at least with fully replenished units. So that leaves two battles this video. We're uh, going to obviously fight over Maron, although I don't know if that's going to be this video. Um, Afula, though, we have a couple of Jaguars, a lot of these Type 63s, which they're, they're like tanks, but they're like weird tanks. They're like really shitty cheap tanks. These are also really sh shitty and cheap, sh cheap and shitty. Um, and they have no AA a a like AA machine guns and like this thing uh, So obviously we can take these out relatively easy with a single helicopter even and we'll just have to resupply the helicopter a couple times They have a lot of uh, artillery here. Just two Strazalas that are left uh, a couple of BTRs for a recon and infantry and Then we have uh, some Strazala AA Nothing else here. A couple T-34s, a lot of BMP infantry with recon, and seven Afghanskis, which is the main issue there. Seven Strazalas. So we're looking at about nine Strazalas, a couple of Biryushas, a seven, I believe, and a couple of helicopters. Well, this time I'm going to be prepared to helicopter spam. Um, however, a fool of last time we got fooled on, <laughs> to say it that way, and yeah, they pushed us out. So we're going to have to spawn everything in, rush it into Daegu, and try and hold the line, because this time we cannot hold the bridges anymore. It's fair though, because we held the line here for a long time, so we're gonna set up our defenses and we'll be right back. So I've actually decided to go for a very defensive defense. We're gonna just have one or two recon units with two giraffe toes push up. Other than that, we're gonna try and hold this city. We have a lot of AA. We even have some special forces. Uh, what are they, Shayatet, Shayat, Shay, Shay Tet Tet 13. I don't know how to pronounce that. My apologies. We're going to set this guy set up in a town with AA, uh, a Merkava, and a CV, both a Merkava CV and infantry CV. And we're going to try and hold the line here. It's going to be brutes. It's going to be hard. I'm not sure how it's going to go. We're going to get try and get all the vehicles that we do not want to come out of here ASAP before they get destroyed. Get these trucks out of here. And we're moving these uh, giraffe toes up there, and then we'll move the CV or recon here, recon there. Uh, maybe move or, uh, an AA unit here and there, but mostly we're going to keep the AA relatively close. I'm not really sure how good or how bad their uh, helicopter slash plane spam is going to be. Oh, there's only a lot of AA. Oh, Lord. Well, thank God we got some AA. I need some hobbits though, if we'd have any left, or just one. Is hobbits about to spawn right in this sector right here? Yeah, that wasn't gonna live for very long. Okay, trying to hold on to what we got. Shanav. Shit, they just took everything down over there. Oh, but one missile from the Dracon killed everything, but I did lose a Shanav and a uh, my one and only remaining Hobbit, which does suck. There's a lot. There's a lot of AA over here. What the hell? These things don't have a lot of range on airplanes. Uh, no, well, we could probably try and hit this. Not going to say this is a success. Or, oh, misclicked. Hopefully this does work out the way I planned... Evac, 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 evac. Ooh, that's all the missiles coming out. Oh, he survived. And that was a... Wow, that was perfect. I believe we even snatched a helicopter or two there. Yeah, there's MI-8 gunships uh, showing up in the sector now. We'll get another Shanav to set up 
here on the front line. We do just we just need a lot of protection here against their annoying ass helicopters. But for some reason, the AI just said, "Hey, let's wake up and use helicopters today." Uh, range on these things is relatively short range. We just lost a uh, another vehicle. We lost my recon infantry. Trying to use these BTRs in time. Oh, they're just they're armed with like weird twenty mils. I think they're like single or double twenties. They're double twenties. All right, come on, you got this. That's a lot of stuff coming out. Missiles coming out now from the Drakon, which has a long range. Let's get uh, two and two to try and help out the supplies here. As my Shinab is now moving forward. The BTR decks are taking on the BMP. The BTRs are taking on the BMP. Oh, we're taking it down, boys. But they're out of ammo. Oh. Oh no! Run back! I got nothing to do about that. And this is all gonna get rocketed right now. Which actually would be a great target for Kurnas. Just right there. Right in the middle of all of this. That's a lot of uh, artillery we'd be taking out. That art that uh, napalm really hurts. Oof! Perfect hit. Kurnas does get damaged, but takes it out. And now here comes the gunships. Hopefully my Dracon has any sort of range, which they don't. Oh wait, never mind. The AA is coming out. Bazox are hitting them. Hitting them hard too. Another two down. They're just an inch out of range, man. TCM. Open fire! Come on! No! Ah, panicked. Ah, nope, 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 nope. This is literally down to the wire here. We're balls to the walls. We are hitting them, or balls to the wall. Or is it balls to the walls? Is it multiple balls to multiple walls, or? I don't know. Anyway, look at that. Target's going down left, right, and center. Our uh, units here are being resupplied through the fob on the trucks, which is great. We do have two BTCMs that did make it up here. Uh, we'll send those up a little bit forward and uh, hope that they can hold the line here. I can't believe that I actually worked to a degree. Um, let's start hitting, yep, hitting these targets over here. And uh, we need to start getting some mortars set up back here to try and target any infantry that does show up. There we go, that's down. Air-wise, we do not have any great... I mean, these Kornasses have no short range. We have no, like, actual planes that can deal with their helicopters. So we're just going to have to try keep doing it this way. This blazer might become a target here. We do need a Dracon or two up here uh, with a tow. And uh, we'll also get... A helicopter yes sewer to like land over here and resupply those does this thing have it does not all right stop it missile away uh, now the entire city is targeting it too and there goes their ATG uh, ATGMs are missing because we're hitting them panicking them please for love of God you're missing it oh no missed again but we're hitting- oh, we lost a tow! Bastard. Get another tow up here. Okay. Alright, so we're doing okay. Wouldn't say we're doing great. Wouldn't say we're doing the worst either. We're holding the line. That's pretty much all anyone can ask with the limited amount of units that we got left over here in this city or in this deck in general. We got not much going on for us right here. Kurnas, missile away. That's just one. That's actually perfect. We just need one missile to hit. Did it just track that target? Is it a tracker? It's kind of hard to tell. Does it track the target? It does look like it tracks the target, which is perfect, by the way, for us. We have two more Kurnas' available, so we'll call another one in when you have 130 points available. Uh, we'll actually get two Rios to resupply this tank and repair it in case it, because it does need some repairs. AT gems are coming out right now. That's totally going to be a miss, though. 
Okay, that's good. We can we need to get another tow. Like we need to get a tow ourselves over here again, and uh, spread out these uh, AA units that we got a little bit. Let's just hit these BMPs with a Kurnas. I don't see a reason as to why not. Just to be safe. Target down. Yes, sewer. Take off the ammo or fuel load. Keep it on ammo only. Ammo and parts, I suppose, and we'll resupply these units. Oh man. Alright. Uh recon. Any recon? I guess we just have Bedouin left now. Which aren't really the greatest for I would love to get some fast recon, like helicopter recon to try and get eyes on targets here for us, but that's not gonna happen, sadly enough. Uh we have no other we're literally out of any unit that can fire directly besides the infantry. That obviously isn't a, a necessarily the best direct fire weapon. So we're, we're just stuck with the giraffe that can try and support the uh, defense. Now, I guess I could target two different vehicles. Didn't I just do that here? Let's Okay, one of them... Yeah, I did. That's awesome. So you can, if you're quick, you can actually target different... Okay, that one I wasn't quick enough. But you can actually target different vehicles yourself. One missile away. See, that's awesome. One missile away on each. And they're tracking, so it doesn't matter if they move. Boom! That was perfect. We'll get this... Um, actually, we do have some Ram Reckies over here. I don't know. What, like, people say that if you move, if you lose units, like transports, you don't long, no longer use the infantry unit. But I don't know if that's true or not. And I don't want to find out losing my Shaitet units. These guys that are obviously the best we have to offer. I have 40 hot, very high, uh, high quality rockets and awesome PKMs that are CQC as well. One away, two away. Let's hope we save this, the recon. And perfect. Got him. More stuff incoming over the bridges. It's getting real now. Let's get some napalm bombers to just bomb everything that we got going on. At the very least, we'll piss them off. Napalm bombers coming out. You're going very far into enemy territory here. Missile one and missile two. I love the fact that I just learned that you can target individual units fast enough and you can, look at that, we just took all four of them down and having to use two planes on that. So that's actually really cool. Uh, now we can use uh, these, oh, we're actually burning guys alive over there. That's probably not the best thing to say in YouTube in 2019. Demonetized, hey. Uh, but we are hitting them with uh, our Kurnas is actually in a very awesome way. One missile, two missile. Look at that. That's just... I am not going to get over how cool that is. Oh, man. That's cool. That's great. Good. Keep these Kurnas units to just hit them with missiles. And every time you fire, it's one less. There we go. Perfect. And it even tracks them like it's... They're tracked even when they disappear, which is great, and they cannot evade these things hitting them, which is just brutal. Uh, let's get the Yasur to uh, actually come back here. Uh, the Rio, let's get the Rio to maybe resupply these men over there if that's possible. We'll hit this with one big strike because they are kind of close together. Let's hit that one. Boom. Oh, this could be a mix if this unit drives right into the zone in time. No, but it was stunned anyway from that. Our Kafirs are almost ready for another napalm run, which is what we're going to just do. We're going to just keep napalming these streets right here. Uh, one there. And, oh, we found some targets back here. Uh, that's a double... You know what? Let's, let's actually not do that. Hit that with a... Uh, Kurnas, because that's probably a better idea. Are we lost? Nothing there. It just damaged us a little bit. We'll resupply this Yasur, send it back out there to cover the flank. To get our uh, Kurnas to hit this with one missile. Missile away. Oh, shit. We just lost a Kefir back here. It might have been uh, their anti-airs. That's 
not great, but it happens. It's our one aircraft that we lost in this entire battle, and it's one of the least important units, I would argue, uh, for the air tab, considering it's not really, like, necessarily the most important one that we get if you look at uh, the other ones we can get here. the I'd be way more annoyed if I lost a Kurnas. The Kurnases are here basically saving the day. We will resupply these Bedouin. Move these guys back up there. Hit them with one missile, please. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you got to give them a target or they fire both their missiles. That's fair. I uh, So you can not really do that unless you have another target available to them, which we do over here. So we'll have one and one and one. There we go. Two targets, two missiles. Right before they get in range. Kaboom! I, that doesn't get old. Unironically, that's just, that doesn't get old ever. I'd love to be. Let's move to CV up if we can. We still have seven minutes left, thousand points. Be nice if we could spot uh, some more targets for the Kornasas that are just constantly flying out doing damage. And if this doesn't destroy them, we still have mortars available as well. Um, so let's hit these with mortars right now. Kornas moving in. One and two. Was that gonna work out? No, okay, that one it did not target. It definitely targeted uh, the same vehicle. Maybe because it wasn't close enough to it. Kefir will hit this road. Actually, that's hitting the road itself. Uh, this thing is driving right into the uh, the nape, the mortars I was dropping there. Can this actually take out the. Like, I'd be surprised if it could. Did it just lose one health bar because of the DMR? No, it didn't. Nah, I'd be, I'd be really surprised if it could. I'd be funny, but... Oh, did it just get stunned? It is getting stunned by the recon. Mortar's coming out. Is it... It's gonna just keep stunning it for some reason. I don't really know why or how, but... Hit this BMP. It's actually a really good target for it. See if we can split it up again. I don't think we can. Nope. That... Oh, is this... What? Did you... That was... That was inhuman. I mean, I know it wasn't human. I know it was a missile, but that was ridiculous. That should have never worked out the way it did. It totally, like, veered off of the angle of attack there and went for a totally different target. That's awesome. Missile 1 and Missile 2. This might be a triple... Uh, actually, never mind. We kind of missed a target there. No, no, I lied. We got all of them. We actually got all of them. This is great. This is the best battle we've had so far. Even though we're trying to work with the least amount of units that we got left here, quite literally. There's not much for me to get in terms of reinforcement if I do lose this battle. We're going to hit this uh, ATGM unit here and hopefully hit the other one behind it. No, that might not have been in time. The Bidouin here are definitely in some trouble. Oh, that was perfect! Wow! Oh my god. There isn't anything I can do. They're just driving into me here. And uh, the Bidouin are going to be in trouble. We're going to have to pull them back. Let's get our Rios to come forward if we can and save the lives of these brave men. The mortars are hitting right behind them, so they're retreating. And uh, we do actually have some more targets available to us right here and right here. So we're going to keep hitting them. Oh, we lost them just for a second. That sucks. Oh, never mind, it's back. One out, two out, that might be more than one. Yep, definitely more than one. Let's watch out, I don't want this to get shot down by all the shield because they have. Sucks that we didn't get any recon helicopters to try and find their uh, particular areas on the map where they got their CV set up. It's the one thing I guess I kind of, I sucked away the helicopters from this area to move them into the one where I move the uh, helicopter or move the Merkavas from. So there's a good reason why there's no helicopters here. I uh, kind of should have thought about that, but I guess I didn't. Which, uh, oh, that's interesting to know. We now know where our uh, AA is. So we could probably hit that with a Kurnas as we maybe want to get two. No, no, we could probably just fire one because they're not missiles. I mean, they're very inaccurate machine guns, basically, giant machine guns. So we'll follow the Kurnas on its path to deliver some uh, missile justice. Not even taking a single return shot. Ooh, man, that hurt. Seeing all the points come up there, that was fantastic. The Bedouin are still doing good. They're actually taking out infantry now. They've actually just been supported by the Turan, taking out <laughs> the uh, the enemies there. Oh, man, that's great. We'll send the Kurnas in for another run. Hopefully, maybe there's some more stuff around there that we don't know in the... Uh, in the forest, but well, there was a little bit there. Actually, did some damage. 
mortars engage. Uh, get these guys out of the open though, because they're gonna get destroyed out here. Uh, the PKM is actually taking a lot of casualties, or causing a lot of casualties. Hit them with the B. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's perfect. I think that's two hits again. That's hitting the BTR and the BMP unit right there. Oh, is it a. Damn, that would have been amazing if that was like a double triple, but it, it didn't end up being one. We need to hit this area here with the Kurnas. They are hitting my town, which does suck because they could blow up my uh, resupply trucks relatively easily, uh, which is not really nice. Uh, we'll get napalms to come in over here and there. They're hitting. They okay. They they did destroy some of my helicopter or anti-helicopter units. Oh man, that kind of sucked. That was not the best thing they could have done. That actually kind of sucked. But we'll hope. Ooh man, 64 points left to go. That's not a lot. That's very very doable actually. We'll have to hit this BTR before it takes us down. Oh, Bedouin, don't die! Explosive sports incoming! I was very close, they even got stunned by that, but it didn't actually end up killing them. We'll use our uh, mortars to try and finish off some more points. I think we did a ton of damage to them here today. There's not... They're not gonna come back from this very easily, considering we just absolutely destroyed them. There's only nine points left. We gotta find uh, one more infantry or one more vehicle. The BTR here being found by the our BTR. Uh, but ours has a 20 mil on the back and, well, theirs has got a 50 cal, so they are hopefully about to get... Oh, they're just out of range by like an inch. Let's move this thing up. Oh, come on. Oh, I think we got it. We might have killed an infantry unit there. We did a ton of damage. We only lost 600 points ourselves, including uh, the one helicopter. I can't seem to find it. Oh, I guess... Wait, do we... Oh, no, that's the heli... That's the plane. That's the plane. That's the AT... Uh, tow thing. So we did lose one helicopter or one plane, but look at that. We made all of them retreat from the sectors. We've actually finally secured the area about Beit Shean. So that being uh, being done, definitely next episode we're gonna have to find over Mount Moran. I was just kind of scared to get into it. There's so much stuff that can go wrong here, and there's a lot of units that I basically need to destroy. Come back to the Maria, or these guys are gonna capture it, and then we're gonna be in a whole different world of hurt. So that being done, hope you guys enjoyed. We got to say awesome. Cheers.